Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science. In this video, you will learn how a cold front can produce thunderstorms and sometimes severe weather. Thunderstorms can be both spectacular and scary all at the same time. But what causes some of these tremendous storms? First, a cold front is a very large mass of air that is cold that moves into an area many times that is warm and full of water vapor. Cold air is more dense than warm air, so the cold air wants to move underneath the warm air. If you watch this demonstration, the cold air would be represented by the green water. Notice that it moves under the warm air, which is the clear water. And as it does, the warm water moves upward. You can kind of see what the front would look like. As this cold air moves in and the warm air rushes upward, this warm moist air begins to cool off and precipitation is created as the water vapor condenses. As this water vapor condenses, it begins to cool off the top of the clouds. Sometimes these clouds are tremendous that are created by this warm air rising. As this warm air begins to cool, it is now more dense than the warmer air below it. And this warm air on top of the cloud that is cooled down begins to fall downward, sometimes in very powerful downdrafts. And sometimes it can create wind shears, lightning, and then at the same time you have rain taking place and you have a full-on thunderstorm taking place. Lightning, rain, and wind. This will last until the cold front passes through the area. Once the cold front has passed through the area, the good news is most of the time you have clear sunny skies, sometimes some beautiful blue skies, and it's a little bit cooler. So there we go how a thunderstorm or severe weather can be created by a cold front. Thanks for watching and Moo Moo Math uploads a new math and science video every day. Please subscribe and share.